Oh, yeah, lads. Silly card. Oh, I love the Warcraft, man. It can also target battles too, right? So it, it's so nice in this deck, man. <clears throat> it can kill the Tarkir battle to get you your dragon. It kills it kills Shelly, it kills the Domain Angels, it kills the Domain Dinos, kills the dragons, which are clearly a part of Mono Red Mirrors now. And then even even against like soldiers or mono white or something, it, it kills basically every creature in their deck, and because their creatures are so small, you also you also get to draw a card. So nice. So, so nice. It's also an insane card to rebuy with your adversary, right? You can turn your adversary into a three for one. What's your Nando's order? Brother, I've never had a Nando's in my life, man. Never in my life. But I, I, I tried to go and get a Nando's once, and then they were going to place me at a table, and the guy asked me who won the last Love Island, and I didn't know, so they kicked me out. It is what it is. <laughs> That, is, that was a true story, yeah. I mean, every story I tell is true. I've uh, I've heard it's great. I have heard it's great, of course, but... How good can it possibly be? It's just fast food, isn't it? Is, isn't it? It's just KFC on a plate instead of in a box. Or am I being dismissive? Plates change the taste of food completely. Although, listen, man, you're 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 spitting truths. <clears throat> There's a reason that the the greatest uh, fizzy drink of all time is Fanta lemon, specifically out of a glass bottle. <clears throat> I don't drink a lot of fizzy juice, but oh baby, I can I can bring myself to enjoy a little Fanta, Fanta lemon at least. Grexus. Grexus with an Ottawara, huh? Oh my god, that's duress so insane here. <clears throat> Alright, well we need to attack the Tarkir now. Duress Main's pretty popular, man. To be fair to opponent. I, mean, I say popular, it's pretty much in every single deck now. Or every, every Rakdos deck, anyway. Insanely flooded. This is why this is why we play four dragons and four adversaries though. We've got some banger top decks here. I think opponent is maybe not playing invoke though, man. Like it's it's so it's hard to get Ottawara in your mana base with invoke. Mm 
It's like the blood token letting us use the harvester to kill the bank buster. Yeah, nice. Nice yoink. Hopefully they don't have a third banky boy. And blood token actually and right that yoink was actually so much value a standard yeah <clears throat> well standard best of three I need my adversaries or, or dragons. <laughs> Wait, I don't have a single creature in my graveyard. <laughs> what? We don't we don't really want to flood, but we especially don't want to flood and hit zero of these. We we will lose if that happens. I think we can win some games, especially against Rakdos where we flood, as long as we hit a few of these. And obviously we should win most of the games that we don't flood as well. But let's let's try the bank busters. The trail can go. I thought maybe, maybe, but now that I've seen that bank, this harvester thing, isn't betrayal just absolutely insane against them? <laughs> like you steal, steal their harvester, make a blood token, and then and kill their fable token for three. It's pretty cool. <laughs> there's just not the problem is there's just not that many other th targets for it, right? Do 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 do. We can probably cut a squee against uh, Grixis. Squee's much better against Rakdos because they don't have Corpse Appraiser. Genetron.
The ruins? I wanted to try the ruins, man, but I just don't think... Because the Swift Spear and the Kamano creature are both humans. So I think it's uh, unfortunately pretty bad, right? many humans for a non-human tribal land. Cut down on my 1-1 one, one Sorkin Zan. Okay. Genetron! Wait, I get to attack? really know why they took two damage for no reason there. That was weird. They let me attack? Yeah, that was, that was strange. Very strange indeed. This little Sawkins and token is so good here because it saves us, it saves our dragon from an invoke. I guess they could have land cut down invoke. That would suck, but. I think I should have... I made a mistake in that game, man. When they let me attack with a dragon, I should have put the two... I should have put the two damage ping into my other battle and then just went face with the creature. Then I could have brought that other... the other dragon at instant speed with a lightning strike. To be fair, they, they should just have not let me attack. Yes, of course. Nice opponent. Nice nice use of your cards there. Very, very good resource usage. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's just a mull, right? They've, they've mulliganed. How's the pet fighter? I've I've only just started using it, man. This is my second match with it in the deck, and to be honest, I think this is the first time I've even cast it, so but I can see it's attacking for a lot of damage. Which is nice.
Yeah, it's, it's always sad when your opponent has no pain lands, huh? The fact that it, it trades with Harvester is very cool. A lot of removal there used to not on my dragon. I wish I had one more creature in play though, just to protect my dragon from an invoke. Ten man, they're on ten. I, I would love to play the Swifty here as well, but unfortunately, ten is a multiple of five, so it has to be done. <clears throat> Don't do it, man. No invokes, please. <laughs> it's pretty good. We can go swiftly lightning strike, which lets us bring back Squee. <clears throat> okay, Grix is rolled. Deck's nice, man. Deck is nice. Yeah, that, that was kind of the same as game one there, but we actually, we flooded, we flooded in game one and game three. Game one, we didn't draw a dragon or an adversary, and we lost. Game three, we did, and we won. So these, having like eight cards that are flood protection is so good. Hope opponent doesn't play something with uh, three toughness because I just <clears throat> got rid of my lightning strike. We got ourselves a Demir Andy here. Oh, Squee. What a card. What a goddamn card. Fine. I'll take my zombies and leave. Okay, two, two, two mana deal three to face. It's a lightning strike, but you also get a dragon. But Squee can kill the next Tarkir by himself. It's over. <clears throat> is this Grixis with no red? Or is this Demir with no red? Because either way, opponents made a mistake. Get our banky boys in. Yeah, I guess, okay, fine. Backwater probably means them here.
Does the Demir pay off? That's a good question. What is the Demir payoff? <laughs> How does Mono Red with Bankbuster? <laughs> What's a control deck supposed to do against this? They're frickin' screwed. <laughs> nice removal spells, mate. Bigger board and more cards than the opponent. Seems good. Well, same amount of cards, I suppose. <clears throat> it's actually a goddamn sick deck, man. The bank busters are so good as well. the exact same board that I had last turn before your board wipe. <clears throat> Breach. Oh, they're playing Breach Jace. I see. At least we know what we're playing against now. My fucking squee, man. <clears throat> do 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 do. How much damage do I have? Six, ten, well, four, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Should be lethal, right? <laughs> we had we had two lethals there. I can kill both of the creatures, uh, or I can just play my dragon. Dead. Adversary fucking sucks. Captain Capitan Barbosa. Mm -hmm. Power 
wizards, I would just match these mono blue idiots among themselves. But mono blue is fine. Let me let me hit you with a life changing bit of knowledge. Make disappear and go for the throat are the same card. There is no need to be upset by one and fine with the other. It's just the same shit. <laughs> it's just boring. I don't know. I, I, I think if you find it boring, then maybe multiplayer games are not for you. Because you're not really you're not really letting your opponent uh, play if you're not letting them do your shit, huh? <laughs> Easy deck thinning there. Easy deck thinning. MTG players hate Thief of Sanity types the most. <laughs> Two harvesters, huh? You dirty luck sack. We can sack the pit fighter to draw two. If they play a Shelly, it's a good idea. If they play anything else, it's kind of a bad idea. But I guess they're Grixis, so even even if it's a Corpse Appraiser, I'd want to sack here. Thanks so, man. That card's better against Shelly. <clears throat> and Corpse Fraser. Oh, and Scared Man, they're, they're discarding Fables. Third Blood Tithe Harvester. This is nice too because they can't. We've taken them off invoke here as well. Commando blocks the invoke. So they, they need a, like a single target removal or Shelly land. Or activate your harvester because you've got two blood tokens because you cast three of them. <clears throat> That's also true. My bad chat, I should have accounted for that. <laughs> do -do -do -do. All right, four of foundry coming in hard here. Nice. I like that we went from two to four, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, these this play with fire cut has taken the deck to the next level. Insane. What a useless card. I 
Ankbuster is also just so much better than Chandra or Jaya. Time, it's time to stop pretending otherwise. <clears throat> is Adversary even good if you only have Lightning Strike? We've got Warcrafting as well, Bloody Betrayal, Bolt. Yes, uh, yeah, against Grixis we should actually cut Squee maybe instead of the Pit Fighter, the second Pit Fighter. Stupid corpse appraisers. <clears throat> the Warcraftings are great, man. Kill, kill Shelly, kill Battle, kill Harvester, draw a card, kill Fable Token, draw a card, kill, kill a Soldier, draw a card, kill a Creature in the Mirror, draw a card, kill... Uh, you know, kill Ramp Dino, draw a card. Kill Ramp Angel, draw a card. Kill Lily, draw a card. <clears throat> it just there's no there's no bad matchup for it. Some sometimes it will be in your hand for a while, of course, but that's the case for all removal spells, right? Just because you're playing mono red and not blue white control doesn't mean that it's bad to have a removal spell in your hand <laughs> oh not not three harvesters this time what a goddamn blessing I think we're I think we're approaching uh, the apex of Mono Red's power here, chat with this deck. It's only the pet fighters now that I'm not too sure about. I, I should I think it should be a one mana creature though. Not to play with fire. <clears throat> I've got failed in sideboard. Has Frank Karsten ever done an article on how many one drops you need to play to have them like have one in your hand like X amount of the time? <clears throat> that's a that's an article I want to read. Just use the land maths. Yeah, but the land maths are for are for ninety percent, right? So 14, 14 one drops gives you a one drop ninety percent of the time. But I want to know like what percentage of the time do you have it with ten, eleven? I guess it's not going to be too far off ninety, maybe eighty or something. my Devastator was one power bigger here, one toughness bigger.
He wrote one on hypogeometric calculators that are used to find that out. Any any links? This is the table with percentages. Thank you very much for the link. Any <clears throat> any risk taking chatters willing to click that link and report whether it gives you a virus? <clears throat> All good. All right, we're gonna look at that after the game. So we're gonna get information on how many. How many one drops you need to play for X percent of the time? Now the next question is how many, what percentage of the time do you need to draw a one drop to win a game of magic? Like what, what number are you actually looking for? <clears throat> is 80 acceptable? Is 70 acceptable? Sixteen one drops, ninety-five percent chance. Yeah, but you, the, the number doesn't need to be that high, though. I think basically you're looking for <clears throat> you're looking to draw two turn one one drops over the course of a best of three, right? I think I guess you can you can miss one game out of the three. That would be ideal, like the the minimum amount that you need to be doing that. At least the minimum might need to be in that on average. <laughs> They're dead to one of my dragons, man, if I can find one. There must actually be some correct number of one drops to play. You know? Like, I know that we we just guess that it's between, like, 6 and 12. Most aggro decks have between 6 and 12, but there, mu there must actually be a correct number. Or at least a, at least a number that's just uh, strictly better than every other choice. And I think like 67% you should be aiming for, right? So that you draw on average a one drop two games out of three of a best of three. Twelve to ten is probably the correct amount. <clears throat> yeah, but that's it. We're we're trying to we're trying to find a number that takes the word probably out of your sentence. You need 14 lands for a 1 drop, so 14 1 drops. No, you need 14... You, 14, you need 14 lands for... To hit your correct lands nine, exactly 90% of the time. But you don't need to draw a 1 drop 90% of the time. You need... You, I guess ideally you would be drawing it either 67% or maybe, maybe very slightly more than that. Like very, very slightly. I don't know, I just, I feel like magic is a solvable game. And we haven't really made an effort to do that, you know? Like, there's probably a correct amount of removal spells to have in a mid-range deck, the correct amount of counter spells to have, the correct amount of one-drops to have in a aggro deck. I'm, I'm sure that after 
thousands and millions of games of magic like our instincts now are like somewhere close to the correct amount but i'm sure that you can find out an actual correct amount though <clears throat> That's obviously assuming that every card is of equal power level, which is obviously not true, but, you know, mo <clears throat> they're not that far different in power level. I mean, like, the best playable cards are 60% win rate, the worst playable cards are 55, like, it's almost negligible, the difference. not fixed the variables like chess i mean so but it is it is fixed over if you play a million games Uh, yeah, it's just probability, right? You're not, you're not, you're not going to find the the best amount of one drops to play. Put the put that in your deck and then win every game you play. But uh, you can find the best amount of one drops to put in your deck. Put that amount in your deck and then play infinite games of magic and win more than any other player. Like, it's still magic at the end of the day, but you can still do it better than everyone else. Cannot solve if you involve probabilities. Okay, maybe solve's the wrong word, but you know what I fucking mean, man. <laughs> we, we could spend our time discussing the answer to my question rather than the wording of it. There, sim there simply must be an optimal strategy in magic. A braid, what? Optimal magic strategy, don't play a braid. <laughs> Do not put a braid in your deck. Ecuador. Ecuador. <laughs>